Hi there, this is the Abraham's Trap in the Rogozin variation of the Queen's Gambit Declined and it's taken from Gerald Abraham's brilliant game with the black pieces in Liverpool in 1929. The game opens d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3 and d5. So we've entered into a Queen's Gambit Declined. Bishop g5 pins the knight and h6 immediately poses a question to the bishop exchange or run so the bishop chooses to trade with the knight on f6 queen takes f6 knight c3 and bishop b4 so the game has developed into a Rogozin variation in which white has already traded on f6 here white played queen b3 the knight develops defending the bishop on b4 a3 and the bishop wants to maintain the pin on the knight on c3 so it drops back to a5. White develops e3, black castles, bishop d3 and black now pushes in the center with e5. It's still more or less equal and white should certainly play d takes on e5 with close to equality. If instead c takes on d5 well here black is already in control. The best move for black would in fact be here knight takes on d4 temporarily sacrificing the knight since after e takes on d4 and e takes on d4 the knight on c3 is about to drop and black has fantastic offensive opportunities opening up so black here would be definitely in control but instead of knight takes on d4 also good is e takes d4 and that's what abraham's played when white plays e takes on d4, rook e8 check, the king moves over to f1, and queen takes f3. That's a fantastic sacrifice for the queen. Let's just go back a little bit though. After e takes on d4, we should also have a look at if white would have played d takes on c6, then d takes on c3 and we can see that although we've got material parity black is definitely in control in this variation so we saw rook e8 was played by abraham's king f1 and now this amazing queen sacrifice which leads to mate queen takes on f3 because now after g takes f3 black's going to develop that bishop on c8 and it's coming to h3 with a check forcing king g1 and now the knight on c6 is going to be threatening mate after knight takes on d4 that's hitting not only the queen but more importantly knight takes f3 will be checkmate the queen has to drop back to d1 but now the queen is deflected a rook e1 check and if queen takes on e1 then knight takes on f3 a beautiful mate and if the queen doesn't take and the bishop interposes it's going to be mate as well after rook takes on d1 followed by knight takes f3 and that will be checkmate so this has been the abraham's trap in the rogozin variation of the queen's gambit declined thanks for watching bye bye